Welcome back to Flick Flops, the podcast where we give you the yay or the nay on movies. Throughout December, we'll be reviewing holiday films for the Flick Flops Festive Film Fest of Fun. We'll take on Christmas time movies and tell you if they made us jolly or earned a lump of coal. This week, we're discussing Surviving Christmas, the 2004 romance comedy starring Ben Affleck, James Gandolfini, Christina Applegate, and Catherine O'Hara. In the film, Affleck plays a young millionaire who pays the family who currently lives in his childhood home to be his family for Christmas. Is the movie a warm-hearted tale of Christmas cheer, or every bit as bad as the title would have you fear? Find out now on the Flick Flops Film Fest. Festive Film Fest of Fun. Holy fuck. <laughs> I told you that was going to be a mouthful. It is. Um, God, this movie. Okay. Um, Bob Dole. <laughs> Where to start? Timely reference. Uh, let's, let's start with um, the numbers. Let's jump into numbers here. Uh, so, Rotten Tomatoes has it at eight, eight with the critics, thirty single, with the audience. Single digit. Single yeah, digit. Thirty with the audience, That's and great. as I've said on other films. I'll say both of those are generous. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, I do not have any budget information on this. I tried. I could not find it. Uh, it. It probably was a lot more than the box office. The box office, they took in $15 million. I'm sure the budget was more than that. Just uh, Probably just to get Ben Affleck alone was probably $15 million. And Gandolfini. So. Uh, it was written by uh, two people, Deborah Kaplan and Harry Alfont. I didn't even bother looking up what else they had done because I don't want to know. Right. Directed by Mike Mitchell. Same. I, I just, I, I want to get into this talking about the film. So, <laughs> so, so that's the numbers. <laughs> that's the numbers. I, I got just, nothing. Let's jump right into ratings. And it, just to remind everybody in our rating system that we, the more that you earn of whatever we're using for the rating system, the worse the movie is. So higher number, bad, low number, good. Uh, in yeah. this case, for all of the uh, festive film, festive fun films, but right, uh, we are going to do Christmas poos. Yeah, so so yeah. keep that in mind. Um, oh Jesus, uh, I I give this thing four and a half Christmas poos, Gary. I almost went five, but <laughs> I really like Ben Affleck. <clears throat> I want him to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> as much as he tries his best to just make crappy films, I root for Ben, and yeah. um, and uh, I challenge you. Uh, I'm going to put this down now. Uh, I was talking to a mutual friend of ours, uh, the Beard himself, Bob Horton, and I said I want to do a head to head like a Friday night video fight. You remember those back in the day? Yeah, you put like Def Leppard, Rock of Ages up against. Vandenberg's burning heart and which one got the most votes. Yeah. Timely. I want to put surviving <laughs> Christmas up against Geely. <laughs> By the way, as timely as your Bob Dole ref. <laughs> Bob yeah. Dole thinks. Uh, I don't know why I'm holding on to this pen so tight. Uh, maybe it's just out of frustration. I want to put this up against Geely as a comparison to see because Geely is considered his, his the worst film he's ever made. Yeah, but you know what? I contend. <laughs> I think Geely might be better. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> I don't recall Geely. <laughs> Me neither. I, I mean, look, I didn't give it five poos because, God, there are some people like me that <clears throat> I, I need to sit through a Ben Affleck film. The same way that I've sat through all of Kevin Smith's films, Gary. Yeah. And, yeah. and you and I have talked about there's a couple of his that, and I love Kevin Smith, but we'll talk about that at some other time. Someday. So only four and a half, but I contend I want to do a video fight against this versus this V Geely. We'll see what happens. Go, Gary. Okay. Uh, Christmas poos. Uh, I very similar, very similar thought process as well. I only went with four Christmas poos. I don't know what it was that got into me on this one that I didn't want to go a half poo, but um, I think that the full five 
The only reason I didn't f- was for the same reason. I like Ben Affleck, and as much as he makes it very difficult in this <laughs> film, um, I still see that the glimpses of him here and there throughout the movie of the the part I like, and it, uh, so it made it kind of difficult. But that's where I stand with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. We can discuss the film now, and and yes, go so, over I there. mean, look, I don't, <clears throat> I don't hate the film. God, it's hard to watch because the, the character that Ben Affleck plays is so unlikable. Right. And I, I want to like his character. I want to like him. I want to see this character arc of him changing. And I'm like, he's such a blatant. I mean, they, first of all, there's things that don't make sense. His character doesn't make any sense. Right. When you're watching this film. He goes back here. He's buying Christmas. He's going to pay these people all those kinds of crazy money, but he but he wants them to play roles and play characters. And then he's just totally like, when when the sister comes in, that's in your post or not in your poster. Is she in there? Maybe yeah, she is. is. Christine I mean, in there. So she shows up, and that throws off this whole storyline. And he's like, the, "Oh no, Gary's leaving. Don't leave." You know what I'm saying? So he, he's playing this this. <clears throat> just unbelievable and not not like unbelievable like oh my god he's so bad it's just, it's truly an unbelievable character yeah right that you would just do all this crap and then you know somebody shows up and you've got this thing scripted out and you want to do all this cr- nonsense and then you find out at the end that he didn't really <laughs> have this family christmas this is all just something he made up like, it's just dumb yeah it's, i mean just I, dumb capital dumb with a capital um it's just dumb what's sad to me is if you took just the general concept of it and insulting (laughs) if you took just the general concept of it guy goes home he wants to relive his christmas and he's rich and he decides to pay a family to be you know the premise i could see how it could potentially be funny they've got these actors in it that are great actors and good comedic actors too and somehow both of those just couldn't, they couldn't get it to work. It's weird because it's not written well. No. <clears throat> Who cares about directing? I mean, in this case, it's, you know, you're, you're bad to start with, with what you're working with, with the script. But it's like the concept. I really didn't think the concept was too bad. It's like, ah, oh, it could be funny. It, it was wasn't. Wrong. I was wrong, <laughs> you know. Um, and then it's just another one of those, like we talked about Dutch before. <clears throat> It's another one of those movies that you don't see growth in characters. You know they're supposed to be the character arc. The the change happens in an instant at the end, and it doesn't make sense. It never makes sense. There's no earning right. anything along the way. And this yeah. is another one of those movies. It's just not earning it along the way. And yeah. I think that's insulting to an audience. I think that's part of the problem with the movie is you just you're you're expecting what's gonna come. And then it doesn't till the very ending, but it yeah. does in such a way that it's not earned along the way. It's just garbage. Yeah, I mean, I I joked with you when we first in our before we started recording that I wish someone had hit me over the head with a shovel. <laughs> right. Just clock me, and it would have saved me the hour and twenty five minutes I spent. And again, I could always tap out, but I'm not because I want. <sighs> I'm ashamed I tapped out of one movie so far. Yeah, what? It, but it's it's <laughs> like we talked about. I, I I always, I think Ben gets a lot of crap. He gets, I think, un un uh, un earned. People give him a lot of shit. So I'm a fan. I root for Ben. Th- this one was hard, man. I was like, God damn, dude. How did you? Yeah. You won an Oscar for writing, and you sat on the, you read this script. Went, Sounds good to me. Yeah. You won an Oscar for writing a fi- for writing. Writing, <laughs> and you said this sounds good. <clears throat> All this is believable. Yeah, uh, Gee, I don't know. Will that must have been that collecting that paycheck? Hey, I will <laughs> tell you. So I I looked up some of the reviews, and I found one that I that I really liked, just because it's short, it's sweet, it gets right to the point. Yeah. Um, I wasn't gonna pick something where it says surviving this movie is good because it seemed predictable. Right. I went with this one from Susan Granger. From modamag.com, she wrote Yule, Y U L E, Yule, be sorry. (laughs) (laughs) That's you'll be sorry if you watch it. I too, Gary, I I went and found me a critic. Uh, This is by a a woman named Marjorie Baumgarten. 
uh, from the Austin Chronicle. And she basically just kind of just attacked what I was saying. Um, if you were, if one were to dwell on the logic of this story, the film would crumble. And that is absolutely correct. Yeah. Yep. Now, Gary, I have to tell you something before I forget. I made a note. I know we're going to probably wrap this thing up because there's not much left to talk about. This was nominated for some awards. Now, the Ooh. key here is the note. This film came out in what? Uh, 2004. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 2004. 2004. Keep that in mind. There's a callback here. This film had, it was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Picture, Worst Actor, and Worst Screenplay. <laughs> it lost. It did not win Worst Picture or Worst Screenplay. It lost out to a Flick Flops alum. There you go. Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> because it's fucking horrible. Well, okay. So stacking them up against each other. Yes. Uh, I would yeah. watch this uh, I would 10 watch times it. over. I would watch Catwoman again. I would watch it backwards. And uh, again, Halle and Berry had won an Oscar prior to that film for acting. <laughs> Not acting like a cat, but for acting. Yeah. So, uh, I I have one extra note for you that I want to uh I want to fact check myself real quick to be sure. Yeah. Um the if you recall towards the end of the film when the grandfather what's his name in it? Uh, uh what, what do they call him? Something goofy. Yeah, Dodie I, or something or D Dodo? I think it's uh, Dodo. Dodo. My Dodo. What do you do? <laughs> Who cares? He's, he's replaced. Yes. In the middle. And the actor who shows up is Cy Richardson, who is the bartender from Tapeheads. So there's one for you. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. So there you go. Nice. There's nice a, pull there. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, oh, I got to remember. I got to remember to say tell Andy that one. So uh, that's it. That's all, all I've right, got dude. to say about the movie. I, I, it's a shame. I do like Ben Affleck and, and, he did everything he could in his power to, to make make me not in this film. <laughs> oh, and, and one other, I forgot to mention, Gary. Um, in a previous review, we had talked about in the movie. Uh, this this film reminded me somewhat. It, it it kind of rings true to um, Four Christmases. And in Four, if you remember in Four Christmases, there's a scene where they they reference they they keep coming back to Pippin. Right, that one person played an act. They acted in Pippin in high school or whatever. You're yeah, you can do this. They make a reference to Pippin in this one too. So I don't know. Should we see Pippin? I don't know. <laughs> Are we missing something? Did you play Pippin, Gary? I played a tree in Pippin. I think is what they say. Yeah. What we, what we, right. what I played the wind. Anyway, little callback between films. That's all I got. I want this to end. This review to end as much as I wanted this film to end. Hit me over the head, Gary. Get me out of here. Uh, please like comment and subscribe uh, for the love of God do not watch surviving Christmas this holiday season watch something better we will uh, maybe mention on a couple of these episodes some better films to watch um, in this case just about anything Christmas it, might be better than watch us. Dutch <laughs> that's a hard sell but yeah that one's even better than that. okay <laughs> but thank you very much everyone uh, keep hitting and uh that the uh, like and subscribe and uh we'll keep poopity popping <laughs>
This has been a Touch of Madness production. Brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.